This is a video for how to go about linking external data to an Excel spreadsheet. You will notice that the context that I'm going to use is temperature. So we're going to be using a weather website. So we're going to talk about the actual temperature of a place, you know, in any geographic location you can choose, and then the desired temperature inside, let's say, a house or a building where you were at. And we're going to try to talk about calculating the difference between those two numbers. To link the external data, we're going to start for ourselves a new sheet at the bottom of your screen. And we're going to go up to data and you're going to say from web and this is going to load and it's going to load a school district's web page here now i'm going to go to in this case weather.com and i'm going to choose uh, you know i'm just going to type in let's say boston massachusetts i'm going to type in boston boston massachusetts and i'm going to click 74 degrees in boston and i'm going to just click up here on our web address and i'm going to control c on my keyboard and i'm going to copy and then i'm going to go back to Excel and I'm going to say yes for running scripts. Now I'm going to highlight our web address up here and I'm going to hit control V and paste that in and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to keep saying yes about running scripts and you're going to see the web page kind of loads in this little browser and then I'm going to say import and you probably have to wait for a second or two and it's going to say do you want us to place the start of the data up here and I'm going to say yes okay for A1 and it says getting data and you're going to notice it's going to give you all this information from the website. So again, it's taking all kinds of data out of this web page and throwing it into Excel. So you're going to see it divided up a lot in here. What we really want is just the temperature. So I'm going to zoom in down here on where it says 74 degrees and now Excel does not recognize, you know, units. So the degree in this case is a unit. So we're going to have to only find a way to only get the 74. And we're just going to do a block to the side. We're going to say equals. And we're going to type the word left. And we're going to double click on left. And we're going to say basically from the left of this cell, we only want two spaces. I'm at comma, two, close parentheses. And I'm going to hit enter. And you're just going to get the 74. We want that cell without the degree symbol. And we have 74. We're going to go back to sheet one. And where it says actual temp, we're going to hit equals. We're going to click on sheet two. We're going to tap on 74 and we're going to hit enter and automatically that 74 is now going to update. I'm going to say the desired temperature inside where I'm going to live is going to be 68 and I'm going to hit enter. Now we could go equals and go 74 minus 68, but in this case we want the absolute value. So we're going to hit ABS. We're going to click on ABS for absolute and we're going to tap on, you know, 68 minus 68. 74 you know and that should be you know like a negative number we're going to hit enter and it's not negative i'm just going to put 15 up here and it's going to automatically give me the difference between these two numbers now the context we could use this in is you know how, how much is it going to cost for a heat and cooling load for the change in temperature outside versus the desired temperature so obviously 71 to 74 is going to be a lot different now, in order for us to go back and get the actual temperature, you know, we it's probably hasn't changed much since I started this video, but I can just come up to refresh all. And it's going to do a quick query outside of Excel and it's going to look for that value and it's always going to read. From this web address, which is the temperature for Boston, Massachusetts. So if I go back into Excel again, you're going to see everything is here. I can just go back up here again to refresh all I can do that in the sheet one tab as well and it's going to automatically calculate so you can put information and in data in from web pages where the data can update and change and then run functions based on that data that you have externally so this has been a video for how to go about linking data from an external web page source to Excel using the left function and the absolute function